Okay, hi there. We are uh, we meet again for rule uh, the next rule. So previously we have learned uh, rule one, which is the order of the filing unit. So in rule one we have one a for personal name and rule one b for business name, and then we have learned about rule two for minor words and symbols in business name. So for this video we are going uh, to learn about the rule three, which is the punctuation and possessive. And as well as rule 4, the single letters and abbreviation. So now we're going to proceed to rule 3. So in rule 3, uh, we are going to learn about punctuation or period and also possessive. Okay, so all pun uh, punctuation is disregarded when indexing personal name or business name. Or in other words, you ignore the punctuation. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, comma, periods, okay, hyphen, uh, apostrophe, and also dash. And you also have the exclamation marks, underscore, and diagonal line. So when you have this one uh, in your personal name and business name, you need to disregard or just ignore it. Okay, and another one for the punctuation on uh, possessive, okay, you need to remember that you need to close up the letters or words and index the name as one unit. So, names are indexed as written, especially for the business name. So, I'm going to show you uh, what is the difference for this one. Okay, so... Now, please take a look on number one. You have uh, what we call the hyphen between letters. So, when we have uh, the uh, what we call the punctuation between the letters, you need to apply the second rule, which is you need to close up. Okay, again, you need to apply the second, uh, I mean the second rule for the rule three, which is you need to close up. So, Inter Asia will be one filing unit and services will be the second filing unit. Okay, why? Because Inter Asia will be closed up. And then, please take a look on number two. You can see that you have a false trophy between letters T and S. So, you need to close up G, R, A and T, S. Okay, why? Because it applies for the second rule which is close up. Okay, when you have the punctuation or possessive. Okay, next, number three. I'm going to show you for number three. Where's my mouse? Okay, so you have exclamation mark in the end of the word windows. When you have this type of uh, what we call possessive or punctuation, just apply the first rule which is ignore or disregard. Okay, so the answer will be I, one final unit, do, second final unit, and Windows, W-I-N-D-O-W-S, without exclamation mark. Okay, number four, you have the symbol. We have, uh, This is rule number two. Okay, so number five, we have a period in the end of the word code. When you have this one, just apply the first one, disregard it, or ignore this one. Okay. Number six. Okay, number seven. This is quite interesting. When you have a punctuation, uh, which is the underscore between letters, okay, and then you also have the period also between letters, you need to close up this one. So, when you close up this word, I can do with a uh, com, okay, it will be one filing unit, okay. How about this one? Okay, grants, you have a first trophy between letters. So, you need to close up the word grants. Okay, but for the shop, you have a comma and then you have a space. This is a not between letters. So, just ignore the or disregard the comma. And also, you need to disregard the incorporation, the period here. Okay, so this is how your answer will look like. Okay, can you see this one? Again, no need to bold and underline, but this is one is just for your reference, especially on how you are, to, are going to arrange this one according to the alphabetic uh, order. Okay, when you have the same two words, 
This one is T, but this one is have additional one uh, as that's why grant first and then grants. Okay, now can you see this one? I can do it. dot com. Okay, it will be one filing units. Okay, the same thing goes to this one grants. Okay, you need to close up, and then we have Inter Asia again. When you have the uh, hyphen or the punctuation between letters you need to close up uh, to be one filing unit okay so just please take a look on the notes for this one okay you can do it by your f uh, yourself first for this one and then you can refer the answer here so the next one this is the exercise for you to do it with your tutorial lecturer and do it by yourself first and then you can consult with your lecturer okay so we have completed rule three so we are going to proceed to the next rule which is rule four so what is rule four okay i'm going to mute my handphone already mute okay so rule four is um single letters and abbreviation either for personal name as well as business name Okay, uh, we have learned previously some of the personal name they have initial. Okay, uh, in personal name are considered separate in that same units. So abbreviation of personal names are, and nicknames are indexed as they are written. So do not spell out again. Do not spell out abbreviation or try to outguess a shorter names. Okay. Uh, for example, this one, Cheryl, okay, may or may not be short for Cheryl, okay. You cannot uh, spell out for the abbreviation for personal name. So, the same thing, uh, same thing goes to the business letter. When you have a single letter in business letter or organization, you need to index as written. So, if the single letter are separated by spaces you need to index each letter as a separate unit okay so acronyms for example arma or gmat is indexed as one unit regardless of punctuation or spacing so uh, if you want to take a look on a clear picture what uh, are the single letters and abbreviation for personal name and business name I'm going to show you to the next example. Okay, now we have started combine the personal name and the business name. Okay, previously we have learned about the personal name and then the single, uh, the business name. So uh, now you need to know what is the different. Uh, uh, you need to know which one is in a uh, personal name, which one is business name. But for now, the first example is the business name. Okay. So this one, uh, Mac Incorporation. You have punctuation, comma, and period. But Mac, uh, you do not have any space. So we consider this one as one filing unit. So this one you have two filing unit. Okay. How about this one? Okay, you and I, you have a space here. So, it will be one filing unit for you, one filing unit for N. You need to spell out because this is the symbol N. You have one filing, another filing unit for I and then you have necessary. So, for question number three, you have four filing units. Okay, number, five, uh, number four, you have a hyphen. Again, when you have hyphen between letters, you need to close up. So, it'll, K9 will be one filing unit and security will be the second filing unit. Okay, how about this one? ACT. You can see that there's a space between this letter. So, A will be the first filing unit. C will be the second filing unit. T will be the third filing unit. And KKRS is considered one filing unit because uh, you do not have a space here. Okay, the same thing goes to Kogo, but you have different separate or different or separate filing unit because you have space between Mac M, one filing unit, A, second filing unit, C is uh, another filing unit. Okay, so this one you have four filing unit. So let's check your answer. You can do this first by yourself and then you can refer the answer here. Okay, uh, so this is the answer for this one. You can see uh, A, C, T. Okay, because we have a space, you need to consider as separate filing unit. Okay, 
And then the same thing goes to KKRS. You are considered as one filing unit. K9, you close out because you have hyphen between letters. Okay. Uh, this one is uh, you apply the rule number three for punctuation and uh, the possessive. Okay. And you have the same uh, MAC, MA MAC, MA MAC. You need to have separate because you have space. And this one, you need uh, you have one filing unit because you do not have any space for this one. Okay, so do it by yourself first and then you can uh, check your answer here. And then this is an exercise for you uh, to do it by yourself first and then consult with your tutorial lecturer. Okay, uh, Okay. so that's it for rule number 3 and rule number 4. And then we are going to meet again for the last rule uh, which is rule number 5. Okay, bye and thank you.